All right, so we got Metro Awakening release date trailer. Let's get to video. Let's go, man. It's by the international My best. Story is a tale of okay. rules rewritten by nuclear fire. Oh, who's that? Vertical Games. Okay, let's see. Oh, hey, Serda. Have you seen Yana? Something happened. She's in no state to be wandering out in the metro alone. Uh oh. To go after her. So this is a VR game. Arranged in some sort of ritual. Please, just let Yana be all right. Oh no, I don't think she's all right. I keep hearing other voices on the radio. You said there were people there. Did you not hear any of that? Yana, is that you? The warm, the warm, the warm. I'm seeing things. Oh no, I see what this game is going to be. I see what this game is going to be. Sometimes we need to become the thing we fear to prevent something worse. Okay. 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 I, okay. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. A few videos ago, right? Um, <laughs> I think I said in a video where I reacted to like a game that came out on the PlayStation VR, I said, you know what? I'm not really the type to... And not like this is a bad thing, whatever, but me personally, I'm not really the type to, you know, play like a walkthrough type of game on a VR. Um, I don't know. I feel like it would like drain me in a way. I feel like I feel like I like I wouldn't get bored, but like I feel like I'm not really used to VR that well enough to just put on the VR and just play for hours and hours and hours. I would feel I would feel weird. I think I would just naturally just feel weird just having something just on my eyes like these. And then this while I'm playing. I don't know. But that's just me. Right. I can't lie to you, right? This story actually looks nice. Obviously, if you can tell, this is like a like a, a VR game. It, it's given off like like a story, like a campaign story type of thing. And to be fair, right? And I don't even know, like, and I don't want to get into like the whole like health side of like, oh, you should you shouldn't have the VR on for too long, long or whatever. But I think that to be honest with you, bro, if, if the story is good enough, then you know. You know, it, it might work for me. Like, I, I might, you know, just pop on a VR and just play a game like this. You know, if the game, like, story is good enough, whatever, I might lose track of time. Like, we've, listen, we've all played a game, and I, I'm not even talking about VR at this point, but, we, but we've all played a game that we love so much that we lost track of time. That, like, bro, like, we got, like, 30 minutes to play this game, whatever. We play one match, and then we look at the phone, and, like, we're almost late. Like, bro, we've all had that moment, like, like we've all, like, had that moment before to where, like, we lost, uh, like, track of time. And, you know, to be honest with you, that's, like, it's a good thing, but obviously it's not a good thing. Like, you know, if, if you got work in like two minutes and like you're about to be late. So um, obviously like that, that shows like how good the game is. And that shows that, like you know, that you that you love the game, you know, obviously. But um, whenever it comes to like a game like this, first of all, I do like how this game looks uh, because a lot of VR games that I see nowadays, they don't really look like they look great, but like some vr games will like look really good in the trailer and then as soon as you like you put the vr on it looks it has like ps2 graphics some vr games um are are just all cinematics and not enough gameplay and as soon as you actually play the game you know the gameplay is a little choppy it's a little us uh, and then you like you, you may not like it or whatever so to be honest with you though right this seems like something that could be like on a console Th this game right here seems like it could be like on like xbox or something kind of reminds me of like um I don't know why, but like I kind of get like like stalker vibes from this game. I can't lie to you. Um, the game does look nice. Um, I do like how this game is like a story mode type of game, but also it has like a like a kind of like a like a little scary twist on it. Even though I'm not really into scary games, don't get it twisted. Okay, Dude, listen. I promise you that won't change me. Just because I'm not, you know, just because I, I listen. Games like Until Dawn and games like you know, um, um, what else? Um, like Resident Evil games that like like games that have a story, but like it has like a little scary twist to it I can handle that. Okay. I'm not I'm not completely a baby But I promise you all like all out scary games like the first thing you do you get jump scared like no I'm not into that, but um, Games like drama type of games where somebody goes missing then you know You walk into this building then all of a sudden you see blood everywhere You know you see a few creatures trying to fly around trying to get you whatever I can deal with that. It's like a drama slash, like, you know, a uh, scary type of thing. I can definitely deal with that. So the story actually seems pretty captivating. I will admit that. Um, the guns actually look pretty cool and detailed. Um, and to be fair, I'll be honest with you. I would definitely play this. I would definitely play this. Comment down below if you guys would play it. 
like video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new 90 percent of you guys watch the videos but you don't subscribe i promise you bro unless you want the beats unless you want the fist the hands whatever you want to call it make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and 